Hey everyone, welcome back to the Eastern Front. Today we're diving into Gravitine Tactics some more. So if you like military strategy, tactics, or doctrine, this is definitely the channel for you. So make, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This video was actually prompted by a commenter, so always leave a comment if you have questions. Today we're talking about zone control, observability, and site quality. All of these can be identified over here on the left-hand side. At the bottom of your screen, you may need to scroll. You can scroll through this box on the left. So here you have site quality 100, observability 69, and zone control 205. All three of these are one, key to winning battles, two, identifying enemies or spotting ambushes, or three, understanding your tanks or vehicles dead zones and why they aren't targeting areas or why they are targeting specific areas. So how we're going to do this, up here on the left hand, right hand side, you see show site sectors. If we click this, you'll see blue lines or wedges appearing over our vehicles. These show our active site sectors. The blue ones are active, gray is currently inactive, purple or red is going to be destroyed or damaged. So if we get real close, you can see our gray sectors. These are potential dead zones. So if an enemy or a tank were to approach us from this left flank, they could easily destroy us without us ever knowing because one, our units are looking forward to the right and forward directly in front of them. This varies from unit to unit, vehicle to vehicle, site sectors will always be different, but they will have the same general markings. Next, we have site quality. Vehicles and commanders have sites. So if we come over here, we can select a commander. He will not have the show site sectors option on him, but he does have site quality and you can see his sites around his neck, which are binoculars. Those can become damaged, they can be destroyed, or they can be lost when the vehicle is destroyed. Observability is our next topic. It, it can be at lower than 33 or it can be max of 33 or higher. Anything above 33 is going to be blue. Anything below 33 is going to be red. Observability affects how fast you can spot an enemy or identify an enemy's position. And lastly, we're going to talk about zone control. Zone control is the key piece that brings all of this together. Zone control is critical to winning battles. It's critical to understanding how to capture territory and understanding why you lost or why you may potentially lose a battle. So here we have tanks right here, right out in the open. They have a max zone control of 183, but each one goes up or down depending on which one we click on. Zone control is a maximum area that that vehicle currently controls or has the potential to control. So if we click on a unit over here in the woods, far over here, he has a zone control of four, and if we select all of them, a zone control totaling of two. What that means, if, th if this battle were to end right now, and the enemy were to, were to control more zones or zone control than us, this unit is virtually doing nothing for us. While they do have some zone control, they aren't committing really anything additionally to the battle. So if we go over here and we look at these units that are in the fields, right here, this unit right here, zone control 68, not, not fantastic, but much better than two, right? Same with this unit down here, 22 for his zone control. And then over here for these units right here, they go up some more and they have increased zone control. So all of these, all of this is critical to understanding one, how to win wars, how to win battles, why your units aren't identifying enemies. So observability is going to be key. The higher your observability is, the faster that enemy with a sight is going to spot the enemy the faster they're going to identify them for other units to engage, and the faster they'll relay the message to those units. Zone control is going to come down to 
commanding and controlling the zone, winning the battle by basically t rudimentary means of just territory control. That's how wars were won back in the back before insurgencies and things like that was whoever controlled the most land capitals won the war. So that's the game. I hope that helps you a little bit. Um, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe.